Welcome to the Hooded Lid, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my foundation challenge. I'm calling it the Wife Beater Challenge. Here's the deal. Most of the year, I put foundation on my face, and I don't really care if it's transfer proof because it's on my face. But in the summer, I'm putting on dresses and my little faux tube top, and I want to get rid of this redness. I want the redness to calm down a little bit, to chill out a little bit, and have my face, <laughs> this face, and my chest relate to each other a little bit. So I need transfer proof foundation. I'm tired of ruining my clothes. And I've seen a lot of people on YouTube, you know, do the spray tan and they bring the foundation down their neck and on their chest and they never ever talk about, hey, I'm ruining my clothes. And you know they are. So I'm doing a run through. I've done a little bit of research. I have some samples and I'm going to make a series out of it. And I'm testing everything with the wife beaters. We'll come back with the evidence at the end of the day to see what does and does not transfer. And maybe we can wear some nice clothes. Like, for instance, I would love to wear a crisp white butt down in the summer. But I don't want my red ass... But I don't want my red chest peeking through. I, I want some normalcy over here. Maybe I can find a foundation that won't transfer. Today, I'm going to be looking at Makeup Forever. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bring you in closer because we need to get it up here too. So let's go. So this is Makeup Forever HD in color R30. I can't believe that I have never tried a Makeup Forever um, foundation before. And I think that's because they have such a huge selection. It kind of is overwhelming to me. Um, it's been mentioned to me before. A professional makeup artist told me I should check it out since my skin tone is kind of odd, and um, I never did, you know, a couple of times I'd go over there and look at them and like, ugh, it's too much, it's too, it's too overwhelming. Now I have tried this before, so I don't have a whole lot left in this sample, but let's just get this on. I prefer to use my fingers, and if I need to, I'll go in with the Beauty Blender. And I am already sunscreened. I have to say, I feel this color is pretty nice for me. Right off the bat, I mean, this is not a new foundation to the makeup world. It's a new foundation to me. And it's quite silicone-y. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go to the chest. So red. I found, have you ever like put on your foundation on your chest and then you put on a t-shirt like a wife beater and you're left with these straight lines down the bodice showing exactly where it hit your chest as you pulled it over your head? I want to avoid that because I don't think that will be a fair test for any of these because they do need to you know, dry down for a few minutes. So I'm going to give everything 15 minutes to dry down before I put the t-shirt on. And that will be one test, pass or fail. Then at the end of the day, we're going to see how the t-shirt has fared, both on the inside and on the outside. Because if it only stains a little on the inside, but you can't see it from the outside, that means the shirt's not ruined and it can be worn again. And I love to wear these shirts in the summertime underneath my sundresses so I can actually wear a bra with my, you know, spaghetti strap sundresses. But I also like them because they protect my clothes. So I'm protecting my clothes from sweat a little bit and from foundation a little bit, but I prefer not to have a foundation concern. All right, here's what we got. It's not gone, you know, it's still there, but it's toned down. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. Alright, so here's the overall look. 
I'm going to give this 15 minutes. It's 9.30 in the morning. Put on the shirt, come back and see how that test goes. Then we'll come back at the end of the day and we will keep score. So far I can say, just as a review of the foundation, I'm digging the color match. Um, I'm out, so I don't know how buildable it is. I suspect it's somewhat buildable, but this is very silicone-y. And I don't love silicone in my foundation. I feel like silicone just adds an extra layer or five of skin to me and is locking in my heat. One of my favorite foundations is a silicone based foundation and I just can't wear it in the summer. It's it's like, you know, they say the heat of your body leaves through the top of your head so in the winter you wear hats. Well, your face is part of your head and I feel like when I put silicone based sunscreen or foundation or um, any kind of skin products, I'm immediately hot. My body temperature rises, which means I'm going to start sweating. I'm a sweater. So, I'm not thrilled about that. Should I like this product, I'm not sure I'd be wearing it in the very, very hot days of summer. So that's my initial thoughts, and I'll be back in 15 minutes. All right, I'm back. Foundation has settled in. I managed to get on my life beater and I didn't get any lines when I put it over my head, which is good. I was very, very careful. Uh, so it passed that test, I guess. I mean, I don't think the foundation passed the test. I think I passed the test in actually putting on my shirt. Well, congratulations to me. So um, just a side note, I'm, I'm looking at this formula to see if it is really transfer proof. But if you're like me and really have a hard time with foundation colors, this is so interesting to me because I feel like my face, my chest, my arms are relating to each other and I like that very much. But I don't feel the color is actually doing anything for me. It tend to be a yellow undertone foundation tends to be more flattering and more brightening and this to me isn't very brightening and I have to kind of my blushes don't work quite the same. It's an adjustment and this is part of my problem. When I get something yellow based I look like a yellow popsicle, a lollipop and everything else has a lot of pink undertones but I am actually yellow undertoned. It's just that it's very slight and most foundations when they're yellow undertones they're really a lot of yellow and sometimes even golden and I end up looking orange. So this is my personal real struggle in life is finding good colors but for now what we're really talking about is will this transfer is this clothing safe can I get a button-down crisp white shirt into my wardrobe in the summer like a normal person can without looking like I got third-degree burns on my chest that's really what it's all about I'll be back later on today to show you what happens when I take the shirt off. I am back with the results of the Makeup Forever Wife Beater Wednesday t-shirt test and outside collar is clear which means I can wear this again so that's a pass in that category. The inside there is some transfer but it's really not a huge amount of transfer. Now this doesn't mean I can go ahead with a, a cotton button down, it doesn't mean I can go ahead with a silk shirt, but it might be something I come back to and try with powder on the chest and see if that helps to get to a no transfer place. It's progress, it's you know my first test, but I'm kind of pleased. Fingers crossed. And that wraps it up for Wife Beater Wednesday Makeup Forever HD. Thank you so much for coming. I hope it was helpful. I hope you might have learned something. I hope you might have had a little fun. And I hope you come back. Until then, I'm wishing you a great day.